Okay, so 6.3 practice. Um, it says point P is a centroid. So remember, centroid is where the medians intersect. So we just make a note. Here's centroid. Centroid's where the medians intersect. Can you have to write that? Yes. Okay. It says find PN and QP. That helps you remember it. It says find PN and QP for all of them. So what I'm going to do is just write PN equals QP equals for all four of the next problems. PN equals QP equals PN QP. Okay. So then it gives us a dimension. So for number one, it says that QN is nine. So I'm just gonna highlight QN here. So the whole thing is nine. It wants to know PN, which is the longer part, and QP is the shorter part. So what I'm going to do is just nine divided by three is three. So the shorter side is gonna be three. And then this would be double that, which would be six. So PQ is three and PN is six. And the next three problems are the same. So QN right here, it says 21. Okay. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So the shorter side is going to be 7. And then the longer side will be double that, which is 14. Next, <coughs> QN right here. The whole thing is 30. 30 divided by 3 is 10. So now if I bring them in the fractions, it will probably make sense. Um, the shorter side is 1 third, and then the longer side is 2 thirds. So if that helps you. What's that? Because it's like three parts, or? So it's one third and two third over here, and just by m dividing it by three, I get the one third. Okay, and then QN right here is 42. 42 divided by three is 14. It'd be 14 and 28. So next set of problems, same thing, centroid. Now for all of these problems, we're finding CD and CE. So I'm going to write that down for each of them so I can just like fill it in. So CD equals CE equals. So these are a little bit different. This one says DE right here is five. So that's the shorter part. And then it wants to know what CD is. That would be double, so 10. And then the whole thing would be 15. <coughs> then DE right here. This is 11. CD would then be 22, and then the whole thing is 33. So short side's 9, longer side would then be 18, and 27 for the whole thing. Okay, so here, again, same thing, just a little bit different setup. G is now the centroid, 
It says BG is 6. They already labeled that for us, which is nice. AF is 12, and AE is 15. They didn't label AE. AE is 15. And then we're going to find the length of the segments they asked for. It first asked for the length of FC, which is right here. Well, since these are medians, then this would be a midpoint, and this would be the same length as this side, so FC must be 12. Then it asks for BF, so the whole length here. It shows us that this side is 6, so then this shorter side would be 3, and then 6 plus 3 is 9. And next, it wants the length of AG and GE. The instruction said that AE is 15, like the whole thing's 15. So I'm going to divide 15 by 3 to get the 1 third. So this would be 5, and then this would be 10. So AG is 10, and GE is 5. We're going to do just a couple on the back. Let's graphing. I'm not going to do the graphing, don't worry. Oh, okay, good. We're just going to do the top two. Okay, describe and correct the error in finding DE. It says D is the centroid. Okay, so it's like error analysis. We're looking for their mistake. Here it says DE is two thirds of AE. No, DE is the shorter side, so it would be one third. So the error is that this is supposed to be one third of AE. And then for 14, it says DE is two thirds of AD. No, it would be actually, DE would be half of AD. So this should be half. And that's it. Um, we're not going to do the rest of the ones on the page. If you really want to challenge yourself, have fun. Um, but at this point, you can get your laptops, bring them back to your seat, get your homework did.